this is the third program in SIC XC. The variables alpha, beta and gamma are all arrays of 100 words. Here the objective of the program is to perform word by word array addition and store the result in gamma. The job of the loop is to add together the corresponding elements of alpha with beta, store the result in gamma. The general idea of looping and indexing is same as we have already discussed in our previous example. But here the value in the index register must be incremented by 3 for each iteration not by 1 because elements of the array are one word in size. We are performing addition of not 300 it is 100 word. Alpha is an array of 100 words. Similarly beta is an array of 100 words and gamma is also an array of 100 words. 100 words. One word is equal to 3 bytes. Right? Our TIX instruction which we used earlier in our program will increment the index register by how much? By only 1. If x is 0, it will make 1 after this TIX instruction is executed. But this time it is not sufficient to increment by 1 because one element of an array means it is already 3 bytes. So if you are incrementing by 1, you are still in the same word. How much we have to increment? First element is at memory location 0 if for example. The second element will be present at the memory location 3 after adding 3, three bytes. Right? The third element will be present at memory location 6. At every iteration we have to add how much? We have to add 3. So TIX instruction cannot be used. Uh, with this basics, let us go to the actual program and also this program li looks little complicated here because uh, we have to update the index register and also we have to perform the addition both of which can be done through the accumulator. We are using register A for both array addition as well as for incrementing the index value. Uh, coming to the actual logic of the program, let's go through the program line by line. We have uh, declared three variables of uh, 100 words each, alpha, beta and gamma. We are reserving 100 bytes for each of the array and we have defined few constants here. 0 is a word constant, k300 is a word constant, 300 I have chosen as the counter limit. Why? Because 100 word will be equal to 300 bytes. So our counter limit will be 300 bytes and uh, I have taken one more constant 3 uh, which is initialized to value 3. This 3 will be used during each iteration to update the index register. Coming to the program, uh, initially we are making our accumulator value to be equal to 0. Then we are making a copy of the accumulator content in the index uh, memory location as well. I have defined a memory location called as index which can hold one word of data. Initially I will make the index to hold the value whatever is there in the accumulator. It is 0. right? Then what we have to do is this index has to be copied to the index register x and this now acts as the array index. After doing this, after doing this, we are getting the first value into the accumulator. We will add that with the first value present in the beta array and we will store the sum alpha plus beta in the gamma at the position pointed by x which is 0. Now one iteration is over. After one iteration, what we have to do is we have to increment the index register to point to the next element. We have to point to the next element means we have to in increment the index register by 3. To perform this incrementing, again we have to load this value of index into the accumulator. Then I will add 3 to it. Then I will store the incremented value back in the memory location index. So now we are loading the index value initially. It was 0 to the accumulator. Add 3 to it. Then store back the value in the memory location 
index. Compare the accumulator content. COMP means one value will be accumulator is compared against a constant value 300. Accumulator will be 3 now which is compared with 300. So if this is less than then we are going back and we are again performing the same thing. What is the thing that we have to perform? Index register, index memory contents has to be loaded into the index register. Load the value from the alpha, add it with the beta, store it in gamma at the position pointed by x. Then again increment the value of x by 3. To increment the value of x by 3, what we have to do earlier in our previous program, TIX instruction was used, where we only have to increment x by 1. So TIX was sufficient. Now TIX cannot be used because we have to increment x by how much? By 3 this time. So we have some additional set of instructions operating on. And also this code is little complicated as I have already explained because register A is used for performing both the array addition as well as as well as incrementing the index value. Index incrementing also we are making use of the accumulator itself. Now coming to the SICXE program, you can see how easily we can rewrite this code and also number of lines is also reduced here. Yes register we are using um, to keep the uh, incrementing value and T register we are using as a counter, maximum counter limit this is and X register is permanently holding the index value. We are not defining index variable itself here. X will permanently hold the index value. Now the program is very simple. Get the value from the 0th position in alpha. Add it with the beta at the position 0. After adding alpha and beta, store the result in gamma at the position 0. Now we have used two new instructions here, add R and compare R. These are examples of register to register instructions. We can specify two instructions here. Earlier we were using all the instructions where one of the operand was by default accumulator. The other operand would be the memory location in SIC program. You take any example here LDA0, one, accumul one accumulator, one memory location. Then LDA alpha, accumulator, memory location. Similarly add 3. Add what? Add the accumulator content with the content present in the memory location 3. So now we have improvised by taking the two operands. Both the operands are memory, sorry, registers itself. Yes is a register, X is a register. We are adding two register contents. Yes contains 3 added with X which is initially 0. Now I am making X is equal to X plus 3. Then what is this compare x comma t? I am comparing two register contents. X is compared with x is compared with t and it will set the condition code. Based on that I can perform the number of or I can uh, it can act as the termination condition of our loop. Right? So SIC program and its advanced SIC XE program and its advanced features uh, helped us to reduce the number of lines.